Seville, the capital of Spain's Andalusia region, has its fair number of must-see sites, like any major city in Europe, but it also possesses that quirky element that tourists desire for the most, atmosphere. Although the city's vibrant blend of Gothic, Motajar, Renaissance, and modern architecture is stunning, it is the civilian's zest for life that makes a visit to Seville so special and unforgettable. From the moment visitors set foot on the charming cobblestone streets and wander the palm-lined promenades, Seville enchants them. The sights are just as breathtaking as the well-known flamenco performances and flashy festivals. And the atmosphere is made up of elegant buildings, vintage street lighting, and horse-drawn carriages. Let's explore the top activities in Seville. 1. Seville Cathedral You can spend hours gawking in astonishment at the exquisite architectural flourishes, artifacts, and historical curiosities of this vast complex, which is like a tiny world unto itself. It is a world heritage site and the largest cathedral in the world by volume with 80 distinct chapels. There are also remnants of the mosque that formerly stood here, particularly at the north side's court of the orange trees, where Muslims used to perform ablutions. The tomb of Christopher Columbus is undoubtedly the main photo opportunity inside, but there is something amazing to see practically everywhere you look. 2. The Caralda. The bell tower right adjacent to the cathedral is a durable symbol of Seville, and tickets are available for both locations. Being the previous mosque minaret, it has Moorish roots. The tower is unique in that there are 34 ramps rather than stairs that lead to the top. This was done so that the muezzin, who called for prayer, could ride his horse up the tower rather than climb it on foot. There are many archeological exhibits on the ascent to break up the monotony. The view is even amazing than you could have imagined at the top. Alcuril Dillo, a weather vane made of bronze that tops the bell tower, is a representation of the victory of faith. Northeastern corner of the cathedral is where the tower's entrance is situated. 3. Plaza de Hispana. This enormous monument, which is located in Maria Luisa Park, was created in 1929 for the Ibero-American Exposition. It is a massive curved palace that sits over a semicircular plaza that is bordered by a canal. Many of the city's administrative structures are located inside the palace, but the walk beneath the gallery is the main attraction. There are busts of significant national figures, as well as miniature installations for each Spanish province. These exhibits use typical civilian afulecos, painted tiles, to convey information about regional specialties and well-known landmarks. It will keep your interest for a few minutes and is similar to a charming geography lesson. 4. Right Bank of the Guadalquivir A very delightful riverbank stroll can be started at the Isabel Bridge and taken south toward the University of Seville. On beautiful days, which is to say most days, Seville inhabitants will be out walking, riding bikes, jogging, or lounging on the stone walls, admiring Triana across the sea. The Plaza de Toros, a 250-year-old bullring, is accessible from the riverside. The Torre del Oro, an elaborate watchtower built in the 13th century during the reign of the Almohad Caliphate, and now home to a maritime museum, is located further down. 5. Torre del Oro, or the Golden Tower, is the Seville building that best explains the function the Guadalquivir River served during colonial Spain. The navigable river, which provided ships with more security than a traditional European port, was largely responsible for Seville's success in marine trade. To keep the city safe from seaborne invaders for ages, the tower slung a big chain across the river. The name of the watchtower, which was constructed in the early 1200s, derives from the golden light that the reflection of its construction materials creates on the river. 
The tower now houses a maritime museum that illustrates the significance of the river throughout Seville's history. Views of the city and river can be seen from a rooftop viewing platform. 6. Metropole Parasol Visit the Metropole Parasol Promenade and look out for breathtaking views of the Seville cityscape. Las Sedas, or the Mushrooms, is the name given to this unusual building designed by German architect Jürgen Mayer and completed in 2011. Its shape resembles six sizable mushrooms. The promenade and viewpoint are located on the top of the building, 26 meters above the ground, and they offer a stunning view of the city's landmarks and rooftops. There is a tapas restaurant lower down than the boardwalk. An archaeological site called the Antiquarium is located in the building's basement. Ruins from the Roman, Visigoth, and Moorish periods can be seen by visitors. 7. Santa Cruz The Guadalquivir River borders the barrio Santa Cruz, which is situated east of the old city. Prior to the closure of synagogues, the confiscation of dwellings, and the forcible conversion of thousands of Jews to Christianity in the late 1300s, the area was Seville's Jewish district. The Barrio, a district of congested, cobblestone streets and lanes, is home to numerous tapas taverns and eateries, as well as orange trees, patios with brightly tiled walls, and small plazas. The area is ideal for tourists who want to experience the atmosphere of a medieval Spanish city because it is close to vehicular traffic. 8. Plaza de Toros de la Mistranfa The Plaza de Toros de la Mistranfa is a must-visit location for tourists who are interested in the Spanish tradition of bullfighting. The 14,000-seat stadium, which is the oldest bullring in Spain, and bullfights are still staged there on Sundays from spring through fall. However, viewing a bullfight is not necessary for tourists to learn more about the custom. The nearby museum displays memorabilia and details about well-known bulls and matadors. The price of the tickets includes entry to the museum and a tour of the ring. The Royal Bullring, a famous feature of Seville, was constructed in 1761. The bullring's distinctively Baroque architecture features an oval-shaped ring that sets it apart from other Spanish bullrings, and its elegant arcaded seating offers much appreciated shade on hot days. 9. Barrio de Triana The Triana neighborhood is located across from the Old City on the left side of the Guadalquivir. This area of the city is known for producing flamenco and painted pottery two items that are often associated with civilian culture. The Isabel Bridge, which is next to the Bullring, is the primary entrance. When you arrive at the Plaza de Altizano, you'll see a statue of a flamenco dancer that is often photographed as a monument to the flamenco art. Explore the neighborhood's Baroque and Moorish revival buildings, and stop by one of the many tile and ceramic stores for real Afulikosh tiles. The Barrio de Triana is a network of narrow cobblestone alleys and passageways, leading to evocative squares, similar to the Barrio de Santa Cruz. 10. Semana Santa Spain's most well-known processions are those of Holy Week in Seville. From Palm Sunday until Easter Sunday, sombre penitents in sandals, robes, and those eerily pointed hoods will march through the streets. These groups, which are affiliated with brotherhoods with churches all across the city, will parade with colossal, highly ornamental floats that depict weeping virgins and passion scenes. The city's central plazas set up stadium seating for Maundy Thursday, and women who attend even dress in black. The processions go steadily through the center of the city that night till dawn.